Hello and welcome back to a very special episode. Um, I'm your host, Danny Fincare, founder and CEO of Fincare Fitness. And I'm his wife, Stephanie Rodness, founder and CEO of Godlywood Girl. And we want to wish you a Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> so whether you're at home celebrating or if you're at with family and friends, please be safe. We're wishing you guys all the best, truly. Um, this is just going to be a quick one because we want you guys to be able to get back to doing what you're doing. So yeah, thank you so much and I'm just praying a blessing over you, over your household on this amazing holiday season as we celebrate the birth of our wonderful Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. So here is our normal breakfast. If you're new to this channel, this is the healing smoothie that we got from Dr. Brooke Goldner's book. Um, I'm showing you guys the recipe right now so that way you guys can be able to make it at home. As well, I'll also show you a cover of her book so that way you guys can be able to purchase it for yourself. There's so many different types of smoothie recipes that you guys can follow through with that would help as far as not just in this healthy journey lifestyle that you're trying to live, but also getting you the nutrients that you need to meet, to meet your micros and your macros. So, um, cheers. So I'm actually prepping right now. I'm getting ready to record for my Monday. It's gonna be a vegan breakfast, an easy one that somebody can make at home. This is a special brand, so this is gonna be a special type of breakfast for if it's somebody's birthday, holidays, anything like that to kind of celebrate. So I'm getting everything ready. So if you wanna check out that episode, it's gonna be available this Monday. It's gonna be a special vegan breakfast. So with today being Christmas, I wanted to show the reason for the season, which is for Jesus Christ and the birth. So today we're gonna to be reading out of the book of Luke chapter two. This is just verses one through seven. You can follow along with me, I'll put a little pictures. It says, in those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Cornelius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth into Galilee, to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in the manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. So as you're now celebrating with your family and friends on this beautiful day, remember truly, Jesus is the reason for the season, and that's the reason why we're here. So I just separated myself from my wife. I'm actually wrapping up her Christmas gift. Um, right now it's Christmas for you guys, so Merry Christmas again. <laughs> um, this is what I got her. So my wife is a huge bookworm. And like, you know, she just started to transitioning as far as from hard covers to now digital. So this is a new Kindle. Um, my wife and I, we don't necessarily surprise each other too much because like she hates surprises. So she always just tells me in advance, hey, this is what I'm looking for on Christmas. What are you looking for? And I'll tell her. So it's not like something where she doesn't know. She already has an idea that I'm getting it for her, but I still don't show it to her until the day of Christmas. So I still wrap it up and do the normal things. Like, you know, knowing my wife, she hates surprises. Me being her husband, I have to surprise her. Like what kind of husband would I be if I just went through what she said? You gotta do the total opposite. That's that, it keeps it interesting, it keeps the, the marriage interesting. So I'm wrapping it up now. She loves the color pinks, specifically like a fuchsia color. So I got this type of wrapping paper. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a gloss look. So you see it, so it uh, doesn't say anything about Christmas, but I know she's just gonna love it. She's just gonna love that pink and like unwrapping it. So tell me, comment below. Um, what type are you? Are you the one that likes surprises? You don't wanna know what it is until the day of? Or are, are you one that like you you have to know? So if somebody's throwing you a surprise party, you need to be the one making a list of who can come and who can't come. I actually know people who are like that, so <laughs> so I always find it funny. I am the one that likes the surprises. I like to uh, now I'm not gonna say too surprised. I, I still want to kind of have an idea of like you know what to expect because it's not one of my top love languages. If you guys are familiar with that book by Gary Chapman, Your Five Love Languages. It's not one of my top love languages, but I think it's like the fourth. It's the fourth one as far as um, gifts. So I, I do still like it because, um, again, you guys know I'm the youngest in my family. So when it came to gifts for me, like, you know, I was a baby. So the baby, oh, you got to get the baby what they want. So it's something that I'm just kind of kind of spoiled. I'm used to. So I, I like to get what I want. <laughs> 
So I'm um, just wrapping up the gift now. Now, I'm not the best when it comes to wrapping. Thank God this is like very, and you guys can see it, it's very slim, so it's easy to wrap up. Uh, but I'm not the best when it comes to wrapping, like gift wrapping. It's actually my boy, his name is Wes. This guy, he's talented. Like he, he's one of Santa's elves, I'm certain of it. That knows how to just wrap paper. Like it, it can be the weirdest type, like, you know, uh, what do you call it? Anything, you give him like a triangle, he'll know how to wrap it. He's just that talented when it comes to it. So beforehand, I used to go over to his house and like get all my wrapping done. <laughs> And he's a great guy. He's like, yeah, come on, come on over. He'd actually love doing it, so he didn't mind it at all. But of course, as you guys know, with what's going on out there, um, a lot of us had to put a halt to anything as far as like holiday wise. I do wish you guys are safe. I mean, if you're out there with family or friends, or if you're alone, I'm wishing you guys all the best. Please stay safe. Do what you can to, like, you know, keep yourself from getting anything. So, here we are. And here it is. Here is the finished design. Can you guys see that? I kind of wish you guys would catch that wrapping. Again, it's not the best. Uh, I'm mediocre when it comes to it. Now, we didn't get a Christmas tree this year. Uh, reason being, for those of you guys who follow along with our vlogs, you guys know that we are actually going to be moving. We're going to be moving from here, from South Florida, up to Georgia area. So we're really excited. Um, we decided, hey, you know, rather than getting, because we normally do the artificial trees. I'm not going to lie, probably being up north, we might start doing the real trees, but we do the artificial trees. And we're like, hey, why buy one and just make that another thing that we have to add into our, our moving list. Let's just do, like, you know, just regular. We still got, like, you know, lights here or there, but nothing really, like, extravagant or what we normally would do. I'm normally the one, like, I love Christmas. And, like, so I would, like, be festive, like, decorating everywhere, decorating the doors, putting lights everywhere. So this year, it, it it does feel a little bit weird not having like the actual lights or Christmas tree. Don't get me wrong, we're still doing our movie marathons. So we got the hot chocolate, we got the you know the movies that are still running at nighttime just to give that Christmas feel. But there's no Christmas decoration. It does feel bad, but I promise you, Lord's will, I'm gonna make it up next year. You guys are gonna see our house will be decked out. So <laughs> so stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and hide this under. Well, I'm just going to put it in the shoe box, one of my shoe box, so that way she doesn't see it until Christmas Day. All right, what did you think about that one? That was our Christmas celebration. Um, again, Merry Christmas to you and your family. We wish you guys nothing but the best. And you know we don't like to go out without giving you an opportunity to know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, for He is the, the reason, reason for, for the season. season. So if you don't know Him as your personal Lord and Savior, it's a simple prayer that you would just repeat after us. It's Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. I ask you into my heart. I ask you into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. I make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. amen. It's that simple, folks. If you prayed that prayer with us, welcome into the kingdom of God. Please get into a Bible-based church where you'll be able to grow spiritually. If you have any troubles connecting with one, please get in contact with either myself or Steph. We'll be more than happy to get you started with that. So God bless you, and you know how we always end it. Like, comment, subscribe, share, please! <laughs> <laughs> it helps the algorithm know that, praise God, they should push out this content and this channel, and more people yes. can be able to see the healthy eating journey. So thank you so much for being part of this family with us. We love you guys. God bless. Peace.